15 or 30 years, which mortgage should you get? That's what we're going to discuss next. Are you thinking about buying a house or refinancing? Congratulations. 15 or 30 year, that's the question we're going to answer right now. 15 or a 30 year mortgage. First, sit down with a mortgage professional if you haven't found one. Find one, run the numbers, find out how much you can afford. Number two, should I spend the max I can afford? You got to really think. My suggestion would be no. You always want to keep a little buffer or an emergency fund of cash for uh, things that you might not have expected, for repairs, for, oh, I want that new pool or something like that. You want to have the extra cash emergency fund available for those type of issues. So I would say don't spend the max, even if the bank tells you this is what you can afford. You know yourself better than anything else, and they would love for you to um, borrow as much money as they're allowed to lend you. Three, is it's a good idea to have a team in place. What do I mean by that? Have your attorney, have your a home inspector, have your realtor all on standby if this is a purchase, not a refinance naturally, then you just need your mortgage professional have them all ready so when you enter that market and yes it is a buyer's market right now you're ready to move on that particular property most people and this is number three think about uh refinancing a buy-in or should i say buying first-time home buyers and they want to do a 30-year fixed rate mortgage great idea it's the first thing i did again i'm not a mortgage person i don't know your situation but it gives you the lowest number with the highest interest over the long term over the 30 years and that's a long time so for most people that's what they decide to do is take a 30-year fixed but you have to sit down and know yourself sit down with your, your um, finance person and say can i afford a 15-year well what's the plus naturally 15 years and a heck of a lot of cash you're going to save in interest over the long term but sit down with your financial advisor and make that decision one thing or a tip I'm going to share with you that can save you a lot of money and give you the flexibility of going either way on your payments. So if you have a bad month where you, all of a sudden you found that you need a roof on the property five years in, you have extra money that you can um, that you're able to put off from paying your mortgage. And that is this. If you have a 30 year fixed, you can prepay principal to make it equivalent to a 15 year mortgage. And if one month or two months or three months you have an emergency payment you need and you need that extra cash, you just pay the minimum on the mortgage. And that basically can save you some significant money. Right now, again, the mortgage rates are probably the lowest they've been in history. Uh, depending upon the week, you look at the, the numbers, but they're very, very low. If you don't have the discipline to pay off those extra payments on a 30-year then you might be the type of person that should go for a 15-year loan, a shorter loan, where over the long term, you're going to be paying less interest. But if you're the type of person like I was that has the discipline to move forward and say, I'm going to pay off one, two, three, or an extra payment every other month or whatever way you want to think about it in principle and reduce the life of your loan and thus save yourself a very large sum of money in interest, then that's the way for you to move forward. So again, sit down with the mortgage person, sit down with whoever you're buying that house with, the decision makers in your family, and come to that decision. And yes, you can refinance and change things up, and that's not a bad thing to do either, but that you could discuss with your mortgage person whether it's worth it or not to refinance at the time uh, a couple of years down the line if the mortgage rates have changed. I hope this was helpful. My name is Mark Schreier. Licensed sales associate with Century 21 American Homes. Definitely give me one of these if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to hit that little button to subscribe. Thanks for watching.